Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to open another one of uh, the uh, Miniverse Make It Mini balls here. And this is the holiday edition. So let's go to the table. Okay, let me get into this ball and uh, find the first test strip here. Um, that just broke on me. And this one as well. Okay. We're gonna go in the hard way. With this first layer at least. To the golden ball. Let's see if I can do this one. Oh. Yes! That's so nice when that happens. And open up. And I am gonna put the ball to the side. We have the how to guide, and we have this. Uh, I don't think actually someone opened that on camera ever, but we have this guide telling how to put the table together and how to play with resin. Think of your resin as a glue. Mm. Use it to every make everything stay in place. Note when using as a base holder, make sure to expose resin to sun, sunlight to set. Nothing about that it is toxic. And I'm not sure I want to use it as a glue because it's not working like that, but okay. Um, and it's just the same over and over again. Yeah. So now you actually have seen it. Oh, I got two of these small thingies. And then, of course, the table with the golden um, bottom and the um, pearly white top plate here. This is from another um, of these sets. That's the one we usually see, the white with the white. Here it's gold with pearl. I actually like that a lot. And we have one, oops, two, three, four, five, six small baggies, and of course the small dollies. Put them to the side, and then let's open one at a time. So we have these two here. Have a merry day, and the same on this one. So that's two alike. Let's open up these. Ooh, candy canes. I like that. There was nothing more in that one. And then this one. Oh, sprinkles in a red and white. Tiny sprinkles. Nice. Then let's take the blue one here. It says, oh, thank you. Have a merry day. Happy Sun Farm. Oh, that's our cups. Just a second, I will show you. The cups, they are so, so cute. Uh, I might have to make a resin print to do these because uh, I'm not sure I can make these in uh, clay even though I really wanted to. Happy holidays! Let's see what's in here. Marshmallows! Oh, that's a cute little bag. I really like the details in these uh, blind balls here. We have I think a spoon in here maybe and the tweezers. We have the tweezers and we have the top. No spoons? Nope. No spoons. Uh, so this top here is just popped in here so you can use this piece as a display and then you can place the table right here so you can display whatever you make. Um, I'm not usually doing that, but you could do that if you want to. And then the last one, I think this is our resin. It is. And there is no top in there, so that's perfect. So that is Happy Sun Farms milk. I think this is a cacao milk. Um, so we are going to make the hot cacao. Give me a two seconds, I will clean up the mess and then we will get to the uh, creating this one. 
So I am back and I cleaned up a tiny bit so I can be here and I am having the little user guide here and it's this one that we have and we can see that it is cacao milk, hot chocolate, chocolate milk with uh, the marshmallows and the sprinkles. So they want us to, oh, they want us to put sprinkles on the top part of, um, of the glass. And they want us to fill some more in and okay. So um, let's open this resin here. Oh, there was no extra. Yes, there is. It's sitting in there. Um, so that's good to know. Anyway, um, I need something to hold. Ah, no. I'm gonna need a piece of paper or something. Give me a second. So I have a piece of normal print paper here and I am gonna move everything to the side except the sprinkles and my glass. So let's open the sprinkles, see if I can get them out of here. There we go, and they are actually stuck here on the top. Just popping them in there, good. So I got my sprinkles and I need a toothpick now. So many things. Um, so I want to have some of the chocolate cream here on the brim of the glass. And I want to have enough that it can take the sprinkles, but I don't want to have too much because uh, then it will just start go down the side on my glass and I don't want that either. And we don't want the fingers into the resin so I am kind of careful here. Um, where to put that? Let's put that to the side and then I have the lid for uh, the resin here next to me. And then I'm just gonna carefully dip the edge into the sprinkles. I like that. So now I am going to find my UV light. And it is big and won't work with me so I am just gonna this is a tray for it, so I'm just gonna place my um, drink right there and then put it under the lamp here next to me. And when I'm done with my sprinkles here, I am just gonna um, make kind of a little road for the sprinkles to go down back into the little jaw. This way I have the little jar for something else. Um, for double, doubles, doubles, doubles. Uh, when I get multiples of the same um, ball, I can use some of the other things here to make something else with my doubles. So I have all my sprinkles back in here. So I got my cups done with the sprinkles and now we are going to pure uh, the uh, milk or the cacao or the cho chocolate milk it's called into the glasses here if I can get it to come out of the bottle so this took me like forever to get something into this glass and I'm just leaving this uh, 
standing upside down on the other glass in the hope that I get enough for the other one. But let's do this all done. Um, let's open up these. Ah, that way. So we have two of these uh, canes. So I'm just going to put it into the chocolate like that. And then let's open up for the marshmallows and see how they look like. Oh, go away. Static electric. Here they are. Oh, so tiny. So we just uh, take a few of them and pop them into the chocolate here. Um, I want them to be in side the chocolate here. And you could also go and take a tiny bit of your sprinkles and put in there. You don't need to do this. Uh, but I think it's a cute little addition trying to make sure they all hit some resin somewhere otherwise they won't stick to the end result and then I am going to pop that under my UV light and then I will be back so I have been struggling for quite some time to get enough out for this cup and there is not enough so I'm gonna do this a bit different I am going to use my mat here. This is a silicone mat. So I'm just going to make it as if it's uh, knocked over here onto a table or something and it is kind of spilling out. Um, so I'm just going to pop the lid on this one and uh, I'm going to get rid of this the right way because it still is risen. Risen? I am going to take my um, mint thing here and place that as if someone has been trying to drink this and then just uh, by accident got to knock it over. So I don't think we need too many of these uh, marshmallows on there or in there some of them might have been already eaten or drunken or whatever so I'm gonna save the rest of these marshmallows to some other kind of project and then I want a tiny bit of my sprinkles and I got all white sprinkles so that's oh well And these sprinkles need to go into the resin to be able to stick like that. And then I am gonna and then I'm gonna bring my UV light over here and let that shine down onto that project for at least two or four minutes before I continue. it has now been hardened so it should be easy enough to just kind of take off the mat oh and it did not um it did not harden underneath oh let me find a toothpick so i'm just gonna take that up and put that in there straighten that out and that's a problem with um, colored resin. It's not always going to harden like you think it will. So I am going to take my light again. And then shine the light from the other side to harden that one. Um, but anyway, I am going to give this a lot of UV lights lights before we continue i want to make sure that is hardened so i will see you in some time 
So I took my time and designed these cups here in Fusion 360 and I printed them on my resin printer. Um, I have an Anycubic Photon Mono SE. Um, so if you have a, a resin printer, you can print these. If you don't have a resin printer, you can find some cups online on eBay or AliExpress uh, in 1 to 12 and you can use one of them instead. I designed to decorate mine just like the uh, cups from the miniverse are decorated. They have some snowflakes and stuff like that on. Um, I'm going to make a line on this one and then kind of, um, yeah, I'm just trying to mimic some snowflakes and stuff on this one. It is so small, so it's kind of difficult to make these um, look well. So I'm kind of popping a dot on there and then just um, whipping it off uh, in a direction. Um, and I'm doing this all the way around the cup both on top and on the bottom side of the line that we made. And I'm doing it, as I said, on both cups. When uh, the paint has all dried, I am going in with my uh, nail gel. This is a non-wipe nail gel. And I am um, giving the whole cup or glass with this. So it is going to get really translucent like glass. And then I'm putting it into my UV light. I rolled a snake of opaque white and a snake of red and here I am cutting out a few marshmallows so they are going to be a tiny bit bigger than when we are going to make the Christmas, um, what do you call that? Those candy canes, they're called candy canes. Anyway, here is the marshmallows and I'm just gonna put them um, on my ceramic vat for baking this way they won't have a little edge uh, or bottom part from the baking pan. I do roll them a tiny tiny bit in, um, between my fingers and I'm doing that to kind of um, soften the corners from the cut that we make. Um, so that is actually pretty neat uh, to do that but be careful because you can make them into a ball while doing this. Now it's time to roll both of these canes into small thin canes for these Christmas candy stocks. So the candy cane can be quite simple to do. You just roll the two colors together and you roll and you roll and you roll until you're happy with the size and the way that the red and the white is uh, swirling together. Um, I do have a video, I think, of another kind of candy cane I made once um, let me see if I can find that. If I can, I will put a link in the info box below for that one. But um, yeah, you continue until you are happy with the size. Then you are bending one end of the cane and cutting it into length in the other end. So I have this miniature grater that really works and I uh, baked a piece of red clay and a piece of white clay and then I am grating that into the uh, sprinkles for the top of the glass. When I have enough I am taking my UV resin and then I am just popping a dot of that into this little bowl. And I'm using a toothpick to put it around the rim of the glass. And then I'm going to dip that into this um, grated uh, um, polymer clay. That's the name. I'm dipping it into the grated polymer clay that we're going to use for sprinkles. And then I am going to pop these under my UV light. Now 
Now for the hot chocolate, I am using my UV resin here. Um, and I actually poured up way too much, but whatever. I'm using a dark brown here and a lighter brown soft pastel that I'm just scraping into my uh, resin. And I kind of used a tiny bit too much of the dark brown. This is a really dark hot chocolate, but I think it turned out really okay anyway. So the first cup I am just popping in a few dots of this hot chocolate uh, until I'm happy with how much I have. Then I am going to take some of my marshmallows here with my tweezers just to make sure I do not touch the resin. Pop them in so they do touch the resin. One of the candy canes, pop that in as well. I think that is perfect. So I am going to take this little cup and pop that under my UV light. I have that to the side here. And the other one I am going to pop in again a few drops. Let me just clean my plate a tiny bit because I want this one to be like the other one where it's kind of tilted. So I am dropping in a few drops of the resin because this resin is uh, really um, what you call that? It's really liquidy, so um, I'm afraid that it will run too much if I put too much in there. Uh, and it didn't run enough, so I am just popping in a few dots of resin here to make sure that it is running out the cup. Popping in the candy cane and the marshmallows here. Um, and I'm trying to uh, pop in a few of these um, sprinkles that we made. That is kind of just grated um, polymer clay. And um, it's kind of difficult to get that grated polymer clay up from my little mat here. But I'm doing my best to um, just get a few of them onto the little chocolatey part here of the drink. Um, anyway, when I'm happy with the result of it, I am putting that into my UV light. Um, also, because I don't want it to, um, what do you call that, to run more out of the cup than it already did. Now I'm just going to pop this little tilted cup from my um, work surface. That's just a piece of a glass from a uh, frame. And there we have the done little cups there you can see the difference between the size from uh, 1 6 scale to 1 12 scale I actually think these came out really really good I'm happy with this one anyway that's all for today thank you for watching and happy crafting